Hi everyone, welcome to Legally Yours. I'm here again with the wonderful Cara Austin from Twine Legal and we're here to talk about a little bit more in depth about the actual um, expertise that Cara has and the niche kind of clients that Cara works with. So thank you so much for joining me, Cara. My pleasure. Okay, so first of all, I guess I'm really interested and, and would love to, for you to talk a little bit more about the actual reason why and your history and story around starting Twine Legal. Tell me about that. Um, so I've always wanted to start my own law firm or have my own law firm. That's something that I sort of yeah. talked about since I was, since my days in, in, in our national law firm. Yeah. Um, and but but what ended up happening i guess it was a bit of a longer sort of road there was i spent quite a bit of time in-house yeah spent about yeah. just over the last 10 years in-house and i had some great and exciting opportunities to work with two fantastic multinationals yeah. um and ended up running um the apac legal team for both of those um both of those organizations which was just so much fun um in the uh, first company that I worked for, which, which is a Japanese company, I did a lot of their food and ag work. Okay. And okay. it's just an area that I've always really enjoyed. It really resonated with me, being able to go around the countryside and actually visit producers mm -hmm. um, and see. So there's a real, I guess, physicality with being able to see what they're making yeah. Yeah. Um, that I personally enjoy. Um, and so I, I just, I loved that. And I love the community, love the people you meet. Everyone's got their own way of doing things um, and, you know, there's some really special businesses out there. So that's kind of grown my passion. And then because I spent time in Asia as well, food is super important in, um, in Asian cultures to make a broad generalisation. Um, but living in Singapore, food is incredibly important. And so for me, um, it's just become more and more important. And also as, I guess, agriculture has been changing with me having more conversations about where our food comes from, yeah. supporting our farmers yeah. um you know knowing what we're eating i think it really there really is not just a national but an, a, an international dialogue about yeah. food and agriculture um yeah. that i am so excited um about and so putting my worlds together my legal world my legal expertise my business expertise with my um passion for the agri-food industry just made sense Absolutely love it and really love the way that you've set it up because on your platform, you've done it in quite a unique way in terms of sort of packages and the way that you're helping clients. So before we get into that, just a little bit about sort of the type of clients that you work with, because it's quite broad, isn't it? And the sorts of things that you do with those clients. Can you talk me through that? Absolutely. So I've been operating for um, nearly 12 months now. So there's a, you know, it's not, there's not, a, a, it's a million clients, unfortunately. There, there will be more, though. There will be. There will be yes. <laughs> but the kind of clients that I've been working with, and it's been really broad, actually, across that agri-food sector. Mm -hmm. So there's been a little bit of... Um, a, there's been a, some ag tech there. Yes. So that's technology that is used to help in agriculture. Yes. Um, and that comes down to IP protection, fundamentally, mm -hmm. but then also terms and conditions. So a lot of the clients I have um, have websites, so it's getting their website terms and conditions set yeah. up properly. Another of the clients I have is a food manufacturer, and that's really exciting. Yeah. Um, and so I've been helping her with a lot of her template agreements because she actually sends to a third party or a couple of third party manufacturers. So making sure that she's got agreements um, that probably protect her yeah. um, and the consumer when it comes to the um, production of that food. Yeah. Um, that's been really interesting work. Um, and um, and then I've got some consultants that I work with. So again, it comes down to IP. It's interesting how much IP works yeah. into this. And then I've got a few in the startup space and so I've been helping them to put together the appropriate structure. Sometimes I work with their accountant as well and ensure that we've got the appropriate corporate structure in place okay. so that they're in a position where they can grow. It's not a simple case of just going, I'll just be a sole trader. You know, it's an oi. It's often not a simple case of I'll just incorporate a company. Often we're talking about a multi-tiered strategy where we've got a couple of companies, possibly a family trust, and so making sure that that all works together so that when they do move on and get investment, which I know they want to do, yeah. they've got the vehicles properly set up that can actually take that investment. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people don't necessarily understand that that's a really important thing that you need to set up at the very beginning to avoid 
you know, tax implications. Mm -hmm. And I think the lovely thing about your expertise and where you see Cara is because you've also had quite, um, you know, large corporate experience, you can then take them on that journey right through because you can then sort of help them when they're looking at going and, and, and basically expanding overseas and Absolutely. into the APAC region, which is just fantastic. So it's not just you're there at the beginning, but you can be there at the beginning, the middle, um, right through to, to global expansion. The joy of being a business lawyer, honestly, I and I, that's the stuff that I love. Yeah. Um, you know, especially seeing clients succeed. I have been working in, and you know, businesses are sales driven, yes. and I've been working in sales driven environments for over ten years now, and I love it. It's yeah. it's wonderful when you see really good ideas really start to gain traction and succeed. Absolutely. I love it. And so the way you've set up your, um, I guess the way you're helping clients and your packages, talk me through that. Cause it's really, it's, it's a, it's a brilliant, fantastic way of, of being able to then help them kind of have that entree in to then yeah. expand out. So talk me through that. So we do fixed price, um, packages basically. And what I've tried to do is to make sure that we've got a level of transparency yes. in our pricing. It's really important to me that clients are knowing what they're getting and how much it's going to cost up front. So we provide, we've got a, a system that we follow. Um, we scope work intensively. So it's a little bit like working a little bit like a project manager, business manager, consultant kind of thing, rather than a, a, a traditional law firm that does six minute unit fillings. Yes. Um, we have an upfront discussion with our clients. We then provide them with a full scope of the work that we think that they need for a particular issue or a particular thing that they want to achieve. Yep. That's broken down and it's costed yep. and they know exactly what they're, what they're going to get, how much it's going to cost and how long it's going to take and the steps that they need to then take in order to engage us. Absolutely. I just, I don't know why any client would want to go to any other lawyer doing it any other way. I think it's spot on. It's perfect. I mean, you know, we do it with all our other services. We should exactly. be doing it with our legal. And I think exactly. it's really, really good stuff. Well, look, Cara, we are so excited to have you as part of our network. Um, so you've heard it here. If you've got a, an agri-tech business or an agri-food business, or you would like to have a complimentary consultation with Cara, you can head to our website at legallyyours.com.au. Or if you'd like to um, get to know more of the legal services that Cara provides, you can actually head to Twine BL, and that's Twine spelled T-W-I-N-E-B-L.com. Thank you so much, Cara, for joining us. Thanks, Karen. Thank you, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching.